Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. I, of course, am JB, and today we've got another first on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at an EDC pen. Now, as I said, first one I've really had on the channel. I haven't really dove headfirst into EDC specific type pens like uh, as you can see, this one is from Wee Knives or from Benchmade. I'm typically, yes, I do carry a pen with me all the time. And I'll show you one of my favorite pens that I usually carry here in just a bit. But this one is the Wee Knife TP03 Alpha. It's a bolt action pen. We'll look at that in a minute. But I thought this was some pretty impressive packaging. For a pen. I mean, pretty solid hard case there. That's how you get in. You open it up. Full of foam. Very well protected. We'll zoom out a little bit here. Pretty impressive packaging for this pen. Oh, that was kind of cool. But here you go. Here is the TP03. Full titanium construction, titanium body, titanium pocket clip, titanium screw. Bolt action. Deployment, as you can see there. Pretty snappy, pretty fast. And there, on the tip, it's got a rounded off glass breaker. Now, like I said, this is, it's more of an EDC pen and not necessarily marketed as a tactical pen. I have an example of something that is marketed as a tactical pen. And the reason I say that is, I mean, yes, this is a glass breaker, there's glass breaker on both of them, but you see how this has a, this one has a more sharpened tip to it. So it's also marketed as a self-defense type tool, weapon, whatever you want to call it. Where this one, it's rounded off. It's pretty much a glass breaker. Now, could you use this in a self-defense situation? Well... It's full titanium construction. Yeah, you probably could. But that's not really what it's marketed as. This one, the TP03. Now, I'm not a pen nerd, let's say. Don't mean to cause offense to anybody that loves pens out there. But I had to write this down. It accepts Schmidt Megaline P950M refills. <clears throat> Excuse me. I definitely had to write that down. From what I understand is I believe Schmidt, I believe it's a German company. I did not delve too deeply into that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I've heard. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But... The TP03, five inches overall length, comes from Wee Knives, so it is made in China. Let's see how much it weighs. Very light, all titanium construction, so it's pretty light. So we're gonna start off, can we see that? Yeah, let's zoom in a bit. We're gonna start off in grams, 34 grams or 1.2 ounces so as i said it's pretty light not gonna cause too much pocket wear there for the pocket clip it's fairly deep carry we'll take a look at it why not we can right so it tucks away in your pocket pretty well not a whole lot exposed Let's see how, oh, get my, 
caliper here. Let's see how wide it is. So we're looking at 0.38 in width. And it's pretty much square at there. So right about 0.38. Now, as I said, comes down, as you can see, you've got some milling there. It's actually very comfort comfortable to hold. Overall, it's a pretty nice pen. Pretty comfortable to hold on to. Let's see how it writes here. I said that bolt action is really smooth. Writes very smoothly. Very smooth. And it gives you a pretty good, I'm not 100% sure of the thickness on that. One of my favorite pens. Well, I'll just show you real quick since I have it here. The Zebra F301. Whoa. That's the pen I carry pretty much all the time. I love the pen. That's a 0.7 millimeter. Let's do a comparison real quick. So, 0.7 on the bottom. Ah, they look pretty similar. So, yeah, they look pretty close. So I'm guessing this is a fairly close to a 0.7 millimeter writing utensil as well. Overall, as I said, very nice pen, very light, snappy action on that bolt action, very smooth. To me, I see this more as a, as an, I would probably not carry this pen as an everyday carry pen. I see this more as like a, maybe... You know, the whole fancy going to meeting type pen. As I would hate to lose it. And trust me, I lose pens. So, for an EDC carry, I'd probably stick to my Zebra 301. But it's a very nice pen to have for potentially those special occasions. Blue liked it. He gave it an 8. Since it's the first time he's rating a pen. It's kind of set in the bar, but that's where he landed. Now, this pen retails for $66. Full titanium construction. We, we brand, so I'm not surprised. But overall, very nice pen, guys. Appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. As always... For the first EDC pen reviewed on Big Red EDC. As always, guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment because I love talking to you. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye bye.